Hello everybody, Jared here, and welcome to a update on my fire collection. So, uh, here is some of my new stuff I added in my fire collection. And if you have not seen my, uh, my previous video that I did on my fire collection, I will leave a link down in the description below, and you guys can check that out. So, um, anyway, without further ado, let's get straight into it, because we got a lot of stuff to talk about. So, uh, first of all, what we're going to do, we're going to start off with this. Uh, this is a, uh, Streamlight Survivor flashlight. Good work. Um, although there are some problems with, uh, I don't know if there's problems with the flashlight or problems with the battery. Because, um, this scene is very dim. Um, this scene has four modes. High mode, in which is stuck on dark mode, stuck on, uh, dark mode. Uh, it has flash. Uh, and moon mode. So the flash is indicated for a distress signal, and the moon mode is like very, very, very dark. So I'll show you that to you real quick. So we turn it on. Um, this is actually on the flashlight. It's high mode, but the lens is showing uh, low mode. So if we hold it, this is the distress signal. Um, we hold it again, and it'll do the distress signal again. Now, I did see a second version of this flashlight come out. Uh, and I really do like the second version of this flashlight. So, here is what moon, uh, moonlight, uh, yeah, moon mode works, and if you can do it over here, it's not much light comparing to that to this. So, yeah. Okay, on to our next thing. We have the patch from, I believe it's East Petersburg, uh, Lancaster, uh, Pennsylvania. Now, I don't know, I think it's a fire department, fire department or fire company. Um, but anyway, found that in the garage earlier today, so, uh, that's a little neat add-on to my collection, so, yep. Alright, this book here is actually a book about, uh, some of the worst fires that probably happened in the world, or happened throughout the world. Now I don't know the years through this, but, um, you got the author here, I can't really pronounce his name, Jack God Show, God Show, whatever. Um, this book, uh, pretty much explain fires that pretty much change, uh, firefighting. So, like, maybe 9-11, uh, I think, maybe, um, Chicago Fire, the Chicago Fire might be in here. I'm not sure, but, anyway, you know what I'm getting at, so, uh, anyway, um, let's move on to the next thing. Because we got a lot of stuff to talk about, so, yeah. Alright, let's little, take a little break from fire stuff for a moment, uh, and go to police stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we have a bracelet, uh, the blue line, just to indicate, you know, respect for law enforcement. And I thought it'd be neat to add this to my fire collection, even though it's not really fire topic related. Uh, just to kind of honor first responders for what they go through and risk their life to save other people. So, uh. I'm gonna give a big thanks to Al, uh, to, uh, yeah, I'm, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna give a big thanks to Al for giving this to me, so, uh, because I support law enforcement, I support firefighters, I support EMS, dispatchers, anyone, and the most I give, uh, respect to is the police, because they gotta go through all sorts of garbage every day, so, big thanks to Al. Alright, I know this isn't really a fire apparatus thing, but, um, this is a Mack truck, I'm not sure 100% of the model, but, um, this truck uses a, a chassis that most fire trucks have, uh, most Mack fire trucks have with this specific kind of model. I know, um, they don't have this specific kind of chassis because, there won't be enough room for, um, 
putting equipment on here. If you look on my firefighting channel, um, Alberta's tanker has a Mac uh, truck like this, um, which is due to be replaced soon. Um, if you press this button right here, it shows uh, the engine, uh, what the engine looks like. Um, built like a Mack truck. I like Mack trucks. Um, funny story to tell you real quick. This was given to my, uh, this was my grandfather's. Then it was given to my mother. Then my mother gave it back to my grandfather, which he gave it to me. So, this is an old truck. Very old truck. So, yeah. Alright, time to move on some, um, fire, uh, blah, blah, blah. Time to move on to some fire apparatus related stuff. So, we're gonna start with this guy. This is actually, I think it's my favorite, uh, favorite. Well, it's my favorite, but I think it's my first fire truck that I ever gotten. This is a 2000 Hess fire truck. I believe it was purchased in 2001. But, um, Another funny story to tell you, um, this used to be my dad's fire collection, and for some reason, um, this was actually before he moved in here, so, let's get back to the story. Um, he had this in the fire collection, I used to take it from his cabinet and play with it. Now he didn't want me to do that, so he'd take it from me and put it back up on the shelf. And about maybe a few days later, I'd take it off the, the cabinets again and play with it. So that kept going on and on and on and on and on. And uh, eventually he, ga he gave up and he gave this thing to me. So I love this truck. Uh, lights still work. Um, although the batteries in this thing are starting to die. Um, sirens still work. Everything in here. No. Yeah, you can barely hear the siren. And I don't know what the heck this thing is. Maybe a backup alarm or something? But this kind of specific truck is a tiller, which means you got a driver here and a driver back there. So, I don't know why these have double wheels, but okay. Um, so technically, um, Places you'll see this truck in, maybe, maybe Boston, Philadelphia, Chicago, um, New York, and maybe other places that I have missed. But anyway, this, this is a good truck, uh, ladder still works. Very tall ladder. And actually, if you take this off. Let me pause the video so I don't use up all my storage. You can basically get uh, both of the ladders and snap them together. Because they got these weird hinges or hooks on them. So, yep. So, and I forgot to bring out the outriggers. That's no bueno. But yeah, I still love this truck. Will be my favorite, always my favorite. So, let me reset this truck, and we'll move on to the next object, or apparatus. Okay, now that that uh, truck is re uh, back to where it's supposed to be, let's check out this one. Um, 2015. Very dusty. Um, lights still work. There we go. It's really hard to do two things at once. So, yeah. I'm just going to leave that like that for now. Um, everything still works. You got the flashers, the strobes. I really do like the LED strobes. Uh, the red and white, uh, the red and blue strobes. I was actually really um, happy to see the kind of setup on a Hush fire truck because you really don't see something like this. I don't fire truck that much. Anyway, I'll uh, put this back together the way it was, and then we'll go on to the last apparatus, which is that truck right there. Okay, moving on my last truck here, and the reason why I'm a little quieter because my mother's home now. 
Anyway, um, got a lot to talk about this truck here in a little bit of time. Actually, this is a Magic Kingdom Fire Department. This was purchased down at Disney, I believe, in 2012. Uh, the, the cab here, just this part here, is uh, a reference to an American La French because you have the grill there. So, um, doors open. There we go. Uh, ladder works. Um, when you pull up on it, it's a little jam. But if you, um, pull it at the right angle, it'll work. So, actually, uh, if you see my, um, video for Lil McCunchy, um, fleet review, uh, this is actually supposed to be uh, 3011, but once, um, American La France went out of business, they went with, um, Rosenbauer and Spartan to build their new rig. So, ladder works. Um, Oh, and I took the battery out. <clears throat> but, yeah, this is a, an American of France. Um, and I believe this is maybe engine 71 because if you go down to Disney in Florida, um, the fire company there is Station 71, which, as y'all know, Walt Disney World, or the Magic Kingdom, opened up in 1971. So. So guys, I think that's going to be my uh, updated fire collection I hope you all enjoy. If you do have a question for any of the stuff that I showed you at all for the video, you're more than welcome to ask. Otherwise, I'll talk to you all in the next one. Take care.